Okay, so in this video I'm going to try and explain the 4x4 method I've been using recently. It's a mixture of K4 and reduction, uh, So, it, but the combination was invented by Robert Yao, but it's really just a combination of two methods that I've been using for, for a bit of time. Um, K4 starts off with building two opposite centers, where one of those centers is going to be your cross color that you solve 3x3 three three with. Um, since I do cross on white, I'll solve the white and yellow centers. Then the next step is to build and place three of the cross edges. So I'm going to start off with uh, red, green, and blue. So I have this red green this cross block here. The next step would be to solve uh, the rest of the M size centers. Um, it's kind of tough. It's a different challenge because you have to preserve the cross edges that you made. Um, so you're going to be doing turns like this in, in U2 to preserve this block. Uh, so the solving takes a little bit of getting used to. But it's not too bad once you get used to it. Um, so then the next step is to pair the last cross edge uh, and place it. And then sometimes during this step, see, yeah, right now I have uh, where the red green needs to go here, but also the orange white needs to go here. So I'll do a, 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 a two pairing trick for it. So I'll solve both edges just to get an extra edge solved and then I'll place the orange edge. I don't always do that, but I only I, I do it when the, the pairs is really obvious. Um, and then, so, the next step is to just pair the rest of the edges. Um, the way I do this is with a 3-2-2-2 a two, two, two pairing like Suhei does. Um, so you misalign the slice, and then insert three edges so that you solve three of them when you slice back. Uh, so green, blue, orange, and then luckily enough we solved four edges. Um, so that was luckily that was uh, a lucky case. And that's something that's really good about this method is that lucky things happen a lot. Um, so then I need to solve the last three edges and then my edge pairing is done. So that was quite simple. And then you just go right on to uh, three by three. Which makes it really fast because you don't have to worry about um, you don't have to worry about building your cross and being reoriented and not having anything done. So it, it's a pretty quick method. And like I said, a lot a lot of things uh, happen, a lot of things just magically get put together and you get a lot of uh, really nice cases. Um, so like for instance on my world record solve I only had to do, I, I built the cross edge and then I only had to do two more algorithms to solve the rest of the edges. Um, so I think like two or three edges were already solved and just happened to be lucky uh, that I had two three cycles. So things happen where you can get really good solves and, and lots of things get paired up which is why I like using it and plus it makes you think because you, when you're building the block the cross edges it's kinda like block building and, uh, it's it's more enjoyable than just straight reduction for me at least so and now I'm gonna do a, a solve with it